Um, we're going to have a sodium carbonate react with hydrochloric acid. So there's your uh, strong acid and it's going to react with this weak base, it's the carbonate. Remember that sodium is just going to be a spectator ion, it's a neutral um, ion. Let's see, and that's going to produce water plus CO2. This is a gas producing reaction. If you're not sure where that came from, there's actually a carbonic acid and that carbonic acid breaks into the water and the CO2. Water, liquid, CO2, gas. If you need to, um, go to the chemical reaction playlist and watch that video where that came from if you're not sure. Um, plus the uh, sodium chloride. Okay, so here's what they give us. Um, they say you start with 2.152 grams of this sodium carbonate. So we actually have a powder on this, okay? We have a powder, we're gonna pour this acid on it. And the acid is 0.955 uh, molar. And it's saying, well, what's the volume? How much did you have to pour? So you're actually going to have a powder in here and you're going to go drop, 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 titrate, 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 titrate. Um, and when this completely reacts, we wanna know, well, what was the volume? How much did we, we add? Um, so again, it's going to be equivalence point. I want to add just enough of my hydrochloric acid that the moles of that equals the moles of this high, uh, sodium carbonate. Um, so same, same principle. We've got to find um, the moles of this. And once I've got the moles of this, remember molarity, moles per liter, I can cancel out moles and that will give me my volume. I'm always looking at units, always, always looking at units. Um, so again, I want to backtrack how my brain digested and worked my worked itself through this. I know, and it, because it said at equivalence point, I know that the moles have to equal each other, okay? That's given because of that term, by definition. The moles have to equal each other. If I want volume of this, and I've given molarity, I right away go to, oh, molarity is mole per liter. So I can get rid of moles and that will give me liters, there's my answer. And I'm saying, well, how can I get rid of moles? Oops, excuse me. The answer, right there. The moles of this have to equal the moles of that. Again, definition of equivalence point. Um, so let's go ahead and find the moles of the um, sodium bicarbonate, or excuse me, sodium carbonate, and that will be the moles that we use of the hydrochloric acid. Okay, so I did the molar mass, found the molar mass for the sodium carbonate. We're going to begin with the 2.152 grams of sodium carbonate. And its molar mass is 105.99 grams per one mole. When we do that math, it's 0 0.0203 moles of sodium carbonate. Okay, so I found the moles of the sodium carbonate. And now I ask, well, how many moles reacted at the HCl. Notice, and I was purposeful in picking this, it's not a one-to-one. -one. This is actually a one-to-two. So watch, we have to do this little stoichiometry, the little bridge to go from sodium carbonate to find the moles of the hydrochloric acid. The 0 0.0203 mole of sodium carbonate. And then check it out, one mole of that sodium carbonate is going to react with how many moles? Two. Two moles of the HCl. Um, now, if I stop right there, that gives me moles of HCl. But what do we want? We want volume. So I'm going to add one more step on this. And you guys, we could very, very easily. I could just multiply this by two and get the 0 0.04. 06 moles, okay, that would be moles of HCl, um, but I want volume. So I'm going to actually add a step to this, or do you know what, we'll leave that. Let's go ahead and just do equals, okay, um, and I'll show you the last step. I'll make it very, very explicit. We have 0 0.0406 moles HCl, so I had this many moles, the 0 0.0203 has to react with the 0 0.0406 because it's a one to two molar ratio. Um, I want to know volume. So if I just take this molarity, I want to get rid of moles. So I do 0 0.955 moles of HCl are in one liter. That's by definition. That's what that big M means. That many moles per one liter. 
Now, why did I put the 0.955 mole on the bottom? It's so moles cancels out, cancels out. So now when I do 0 0.0406 divided by the 0 0.955, we are going to get 0 0.0425 liters, the end with liters right there. Uh, multiply that by a thousand and it's 42.5 mils. So we would have to pour 42.5 mils of a 0.955 molar HCl onto the 2.152 grams. And there you have it. Um, it will completely 100% react. It will be the equivalence point.